It's time for What to Watch, and some may be sad, others may be relieved to hear that Chuck E. Cheese is retiring its animatronic band. Munch's make-believe band will be phased out from almost every location by the end of the year. The venues are getting an upgrade, though, with big screens, trampolines, and digital dance floors. Chuck E. Cheese, which has more than 600 locations in 16 countries, is one of many companies shifting gears in an effort to keep up with the changing consumer needs. Consumers being little kids. Let's bring in the CEO of Chuck E. Cheese, David uh, McKillips. And he's joining us now from a newly updated location in Dallas. Thanks for joining us. It looks pretty good. I mean, it looks it looks like what kids want. Um, David, you know, it appears to me that Chuck E. Cheese is dealing with what a lot of um, entertainment venues are dealing with, right? You've got kids who are glued to their screens. You just pry them away from it. Zoos are having problems with that. Kind of the old style entertainment venues are trying to figure out different ways to lure them in. And I guess that's what you guys have been wrestling with, too. Absolutely. And thanks for having me on this morning. This is the most exciting time in the brand's 47 year history. It's a complete brand transformation here at Chuck E. Cheese. And you're right. We're remodeling every single element and invested more than $350 million over the last three years. So we have embraced technology, a completely immersive experience with digital dance floors, a floor to ceiling jumbotron where we can change content on a daily basis. We've got the best brands, new games, a brand new menu with scratch made pizza. And most importantly for mom, it's bright, it's clean. And now we've embraced active play and installing trampolines in every single one of our locations, coast to coast. Mm. I want to play devil's advocate a little bit okay, because go. the idea is to pull <laughs> kids away from screens. You're adding screens. I mean, that, that may be what kids want and what grabs their attention. But what about the parent who says, I'm bringing them here to socialize and to have that good old fashioned fun? Well, one of the great things about Chuck E. Cheese, for over the, the four and a half decades that we have been in business, we're all about family celebrations, participatory play. So the content that we have, we can change on a daily basis. So we're embracing how kids are now uh, uh, absorbing their entertainment, but we're bringing that to life. And we're doing that in such a way that it, that it just invests into active play. So the floor to ceiling jumbotron interacts with the interactive dance floor. So kids are running around and they're having a great time. And that's really what mom and dad want to see. They want to see their kids run around having a great time. But kids also love to embrace the content that they're seeing on their screens. Want to go we home bring with it an to life. Kid. <laughs> that's exactly what you want. <laughs> Sugar, pizza, now burn it all off. Sleep. Um, so what's what's the reaction been like from, from Chuck E. Cheese fans? It's been incredible. And look, we, we have uh, an incredible legacy of fans who love the animatronics, but like any great brand, you have to continue to evolve. And we still have our incredible uh, character program. We have Chuck E. Cheese, and now we've taken all of our characters on the road for live concerts, in fact. So people embrace Chuck E. Cheese both within the four walls, and now once you leave Chuck E. Cheese, you can still interact with the characters. We're streaming on YouTube and YouTube Kids, new content every single week. Mm. We're on all of the music uh, uh, platforms as well, like Spotify and iTunes, where you can listen to some of our great music. Wow. How have things been post-pandemic? Because I know as a mom, you know, after we go to the playground, after we go to an inside play place, you know, I'm wiping the hands, I'm yeah, washing the hands, yeah, we're yeah. at the sink, first thing we do when we get home. But how are people, you know, responding to what you guys are doing post-pandemic? Are the crowds back? They are. And look, there's no doubt that uh, the pandemic was very tough on the brand here, but it allowed us to pivot and adapt and make sure that we're bright and clean. Uh, as you can see behind me, and it's an absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, facility that our, that our moms and our, and our families just embrace and enjoy. So uh, everything is clean. We take uh, cleaning very seriously here, and we want to make sure that it's a great experience for our parents. Okay, David, I need you to settle an argument for me. <laughs> is it Chuck E. Cheese? Or is it Chuck E. Cheese's? It is now Chuck E. Cheese. Charles Entertainment Cheese, the greatest mouse in entertainment. <laughs> oh, making an appearance. Oh, so who lost? Special appearance. Who lost? You or the other person on the other end of this argument? Um, they did. Okay. They did. You were right. I was right. All right. <laughs> All right. David McKillips, Chuck E. Cheese, <laughs> thank you both. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Take care.